Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper and I have another Dollar Tree DIY for you. So, what we're going to do, I am going to use, uh, let's see, I'm going to use the wire set that I've used before along with some wire cutters. Those are both from Dollar Tree. In fact, everything I'm going to use basically is from Dollar Tree. Uh, I have some colored craft sticks. I may or may not use these, I think I will. And then the parts that are really important, I have these chargers and I have five of them. So five of these chargers and then these really cute mirrors. I can't see, there you go. I don't know if I saw you or not. <laughs> Anyways, so I have these really cute mirrors. I have three of them. Now, I wanted the three and they're very similar but I don't know if you can tell one is just a little bit darker than the other two. And at first I was like, I don't know. And then I put them together how I think I'm going to like this DIY. And I love it. So I was watching a show on television. And I saw on the back wall, it was like this really rich person's house. Like multimillionaire's house. And they had this like mirror thing set up. And I thought it was so cool. And I said, I think I can make something similar with Dollar Tree stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm super excited. I'm so excited that I'm like, I was already ready for bed and I'm like, no, I've gotta do this. I have to show the beauties, get it up right away. So if you love it, please give it a thumbs up. Please share it because I think this is a great piece. So let's go ahead, I'll get started. I'll move this down. I'm gonna be using um, hot glue uh, only because um, I don't have the E6000 and I want to put it together for you guys really quickly. But I'm going to definitely redo it with the hot glue and the E6000 together. So make sure these are all cleaned up. I know you guys are all going to give me a hard time for those of you who have to have these off. It's okay. I'm okay with it. So I'm going to take two of these and I'm going to put them together. And what I want to do is hold them together with one of these sticks or even a couple of these sticks. So I'm just gonna take, I'm just gonna go with this yellow right in the middle so I don't have to deal with anything. And I'm gonna cut it in half. I was gonna break it in half, but I'm just gonna cut it. Okay, I might break it, there we go. So, there you go. If you are really, really like anal about it or anything like that, then you could um, you could cut it much better than what I'm doing. I'm just super excited and want to show you guys this. So I'm gonna put some hot glue here and some hot glue here. And I'm gonna put these together because I want to keep these two um, right next to each other. Okay. And then I'm gonna take another couple of these yellow ones. Oh, they all came apart. And I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna put on this side. Now this one I'm not going to cut in half. And I'm going to just put them like this. Just to give it some stability and keep them uh, right next to each other. Okay. So this is really the part um, that's going to hold this base together. And don't worry about it's showing or anything like that. So what I want to do, I'm going to, like I said, I want to put it together with E6000, but I really want this to stick together. So I'm just going to put the glue across like this, just for added stability to make sure everything stays together.
and then we're going to wait for these to dry. And while we're waiting for them to dry, and I have the back pieces up, I'm going to show you um, how I'm going to keep this on a wall. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, 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 excuse me, I'm sorry, I think I got some hot <laughs> glue in my notes. <laughs> I'm going to take the black, just because it matches with the black here, and get myself out of piece here. I'm really bad at finding the ends of these things. Okay, here we go. So I'm just going to continue to push this out and about until I get the piece of the size that I want. And this is all getting cool, so I have a little bit of time. And I'm going to basically make my own holder. Um, how is this? I know, you guys are going to say, why don't you just hurry up and have this all done? But... I know, I'm sorry. I was not going to make this this late at night, but I had to get it out because I want to share with you guys. Okay, that's big enough. I was going to use my regular scissors, but they have these um, wire cutters, so might as well use them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take, and I'm going to wrap these around because I want to have... Um, just some more kind of, let me show you, see that? So I want it to give it some stability. And then I'm going to do the same here. And I'm just going to wrap it around my finger and then kind of spread it out like this. And then on either side, I'm going to put these. Now, I just want to make sure that they don't go above the top here, okay? And I want this to be really straight. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a nice little pile of hot glue right here. And then I'm going to stick this in that hot glue. I should actually get my, get one of these sticks because I want the hot glue to really be around it. And then we're going to do the same with the other side. Woo. Perfect. Just wait for the glue to dry. <laughs> I'm doing this so fast because I'm so excited to show you guys. I didn't put like everything out. I'm just like, yes, a brilliant idea. This may be my new favorite Dollar Tree DIY. So we've got that. It is starting to hold. Again, I want to make sure this is straight. So I'm going to line it up right here. And I'm going to put another little thing of hot glue right here and I'm going to add some more hot glue because I really want this to stick and then I'm going to take this one and do the exact same thing and I just want to get the hot glue around it and under it and really hold it. This is not going to be a very heavy piece, believe it or not. So 
so, but I will let you know. Woo! That hot glue did not, hold on guys, we've got this. That when I put the new hot glue on it, it melted the other hot glue. You guys, if you know me, you know that I leave all of my errors so that you could learn from it. This is a definite error, but let's learn from it. So we're holding these down with these sticks. Good investment on little popsicle sticks. And it does not go above that line, so we're good. These are stuck together. And then what we're gonna do, I'm gonna use this. Stay. You know what? I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna put you on hold and let this thoroughly dry. Okay, so this is what I ended up doing. While, um, instead of holding it down with these little guys, I just took my silicone mat, I put a bunch of hot glue, and then I held it down, so that way it would be flat. So now that it is dry, it's still, it's not perfectly dry. Um, but it's cool enough to the touch and the silicone comes right off and I can uh, just touch it like that. So there we go and now I have this hanging. So if you could see that, I'm going to bring it closer and you'll see that and then you'll see those and then hopefully, yes, it will hold like this and we'll find the center point. And you can see that it's holding the two. Now we're gonna flip it over. And we're going to take these here. And we're gonna line them up like this and we're gonna overlap these as well, but not too much. Just move it over a little bit. We wanna make sure that this one is 100% center there. Actually. Perfect. And then this one. Okay, so I'm going to put these down first. You're going to go through some hot glue or some um, liquid nails or some E6000, whatever you feel like is best for you. But we're going to put these down on where they connect. So definitely in the middle here. And then we've got some on the upper right here, and we've got some on the lower right here where they're going to. Oh no, that didn't, that's not where it is. Where is it connecting? Well, let's get those middle. And I'm gonna look under. Okay, I'm gonna turn this just a little bit because they're actually meeting diagonal like this. So you're gonna put one in the middle and then two on either sides right here. Yes. Perfect. And you wanna be careful you don't want that glue to, yes, you don't want that glue to come off. And then we're going to do the same thing over on this end. We already know that we're going to put some underneath here. 
and then some right here and right here. Just gonna grab more glue sticks because I'm gonna use a lot of glue just so it'll be done quicker. So first things first, do not get over excited with this part right here. So I'm going to put some here and some here and then I'm going to put just a little bit right here. And you are going to stick this under. I really want to move this away. We're going to stick this under right there. And again, if you can have some kind of line to make sure everything is lining up. So I'm going to use this line here. That one's lined up. And that one is lined up. I would definitely, I cannot stress this enough, use the E6000. You want this to hold. I'm just doing this for your um, viewing only, I will go back. I need to put this together with some E6000. And then we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. I just wanna make sure, again, that everything lines up correctly. So we're gonna put some here some here and then some right here. I know you couldn't see that you guys, I'm sorry. And then we're going to do the same thing like we did the other side. And again, if you have a ruler or a yardstick or something to really straighten this out. Okay. Holding everything down. So now we've got this. And then we're going to take these, and there's two different colors. I don't know. They're supposed to be the same color, but I don't know if you can see that this one's just slightly darker, and I'm okay with it because I'm going to put this guy here. I'm going to put him in the middle. And so what we're going to do here is we are going to um, put the, it right on the edges here on some of them, not all of them. You don't want to be able to see everything and we have to move quick enough. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it could actually go right here. Okay, and then be careful, do not glue yourself. And we are going to put these right in the center. If you do have a little bit of glue, just clean it up while it is still um, able to clean up. There we go. And then we're going to do that 
with the other ones as well. And I've decided that putting them right here would be a little bit better. And then some on the outside as well. making sure everything lines up. Okay, so this is why I do it, to learn. You don't need a lot because they're very light, but I've been putting it on here. It's not even touching in there, you guys, not at all. So only on the outsides is where you want it to be. So just be careful excited please share this you guys I am so thankful for everything that you guys do for me I love all your comments and that you share all um, your pictures with me I love to hear your stories in the comments uh, you know about how you're inspired by something I do and then you guys just you always take my stuff and you make it better which is what I love. I love that. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one on there next. Oh, that one came off because I did the insides. So I'm gonna do the outside. Better. Okay. Again, with the um, E6000, you'll be able to take your time. I'm just kind of rushing through this to show you guys. Because I'm super excited. All right. So now, this is my piece, you guys. I'm going to put it on a wall, and I'm gonna take some pictures so you guys could see it. If you guys like it, please give me a thumbs up. And oh my gosh, I'm so loving this. All right, beauties, make sure you subscribe if you wanna see more DIYs. And then also, um, yeah, just share this, please. Thank you so much for sharing on your Facebook and on your Instagram and on every, everywhere you guys share, I just love it. So, all right, I will talk to you later. Have a wonderful evening or morning if you're seeing this in the morning. I'll talk to you later, bye. All right, beauties, I wanted to come back, show you the finished product, but I also wanted to let you know that you do wanna use the E6000 and the liquid nails so that you can um, really, really, really hold on to it. And that is it. I hope you guys like it. I think it's super cute. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.